Welcome to Vanilla TV. You are here for the ETF Duel Season 12, powered by TT Esports. Grand finals of the Premier Division between TCM and Epsilon Esports. I'm in Marble. With me is DJC and Boomy on the stream. We are here for the first middle. DJC, tell me what you see, bro. I see Walter sitting up on the crate right here. First crack goes to Zebesai. Saw a lot of Zebesai's coming in there, so if you picked Zebesai, you might be the winner of the CS Goki. But the important part is that Hemsley Hawks and Cadis are down, and Epsilon are taking full control of this middle. Bite goes down late to Nox there. Good, some good shotgun work onto him. Royce is alive on full health. Zebesai's only on 31, not in a position to do anything here. He's spotted by Epsilon on 5 health. Gets taken down by Stefan. And it's just Rebelli alive right now on half health. 63 health in yard running back through closet right now on CP2 of Granary Admirable. He's probably saying to himself, Why didn't I roll out as heavy? What's going on guys? I could have killed the whole team, but he does manage to survive. The only player who remains alive for TCM. Big Uber Vanny's for Epsilon right now. Bite, is he running crits? No, he's running that standard Uber because he figures he's in for a, a hard defense here on last DJC. They're going to try and pop off that Epsilon Uber as they push into two. And that is generally a given that you can force a team quite easily coming into this uh, CP2, CP4, whatever way you look at it. And right now, Epsilon are sort of letting Bite back into this. I don't know what's going on. Has something happened here? I think TCM are probably going to have Uber in time to defend too, never mind last DJC. Yeah, no idea why Epsilon are taking so long. A streamer is on the lower here spamming stickies. I think they might want to bait TCM to come in with their Uber here. Cadis is actually on very low health. He's only 36. Don't know where he is right now. It looks like he's in safety, though. Not going to be taken down here. Epsilon on low health. If they do want to push, they're going to have to wait a bit to get their heals up. Everyone getting close to full health here. I'm not sure if Epsilon are even going to push right off of the button here. They might want to bait something out from TCM. After that, uh, Snakewater went 5-1 in favor of Epsilon. Uh, they might think that TCM are a little on tilt as DJC, a poker player might say. Uh, let's get those TCM comms real quick as Epsilon are sort of posturing yeah, yeah, they're, they're going to try and jump me. Stop, 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 stop. Just got top, top, one top, top, that one, that one. Oh, Medic, stop as well. Nice, let's push with it. Bottom right, bottom right, Hawks, come with me. Everyone else go left or whatever. Someone's got trapped. He's staying on point, watching me. Got one ammo there. Haven't checked here, Zeb. Where's the stick? Stay alive, stay alive, stay alive. Medic used, medic used carriage. He's calling back. Demo. I'm with you, I'm with you, I'm with you. Fine, take it easy, take it easy. It's Rebirth. Rebirth's running out soon. Had to use it, otherwise he's gonna die. Oh! Oh, no. coming. Okay, that was uh, pretty dominant right there from TCM, but now things are getting a little bit stretched out. Epsilon actually have a player advantage here, DGC. They might come in and turn this one over. Skyrim on Cadis, Cadis, Cadis taking good damage. Hits to the pipe, though. Oh, Cadis and Rebelli down. Stance. Walter's an Extremer in. Bite taken down by Extremer. Royce is still dead, but they will have the Uber advantage now. Epsilon might even want to push here, see if they can get any extra frags. Since it is currently 4v3, Royce has just spawned at the forward. Extremer throwing some pipes into last here. Doesn't do a whole lot of damage. TCM getting their last wave of spawns. Rebelli doing what we all have come to expect from him, the heavy. And make sure that you guys check out Rebelli's post-season frag video that is sure to feature a lot of heavy, reminiscent of the Royce old Remu crits, frag Royce, Royce, Royce is on crits. Uh-oh, that's going to be very good. I know Royce loves to run crits creek when he has the advantage. He does have a pretty significant advantage here as well. They're going to need to do something different though, DGC. That last time they went top, they got absolutely destroyed. Zebra with a big air shot onto the scout. May have been a little bit lucky. But great focus fire from TCM into that top side. They need to do some sort of distraction here. They can't just go top There's with the crits. There's a sticky trap on top that Nox has spotted now. That crit advantage is running out rather quickly here. But they have earned the space. Extremer, the crits has popped. Extremer's in. He hits a sticky on the Hawks. Hawks down. Extremer's not in any position to get anything else though. He's trying to fire a sticky at Bite. Takes down Himsey as well. He's getting good spam on line heavy. But Rebelli is still at 450 health. Another pick. Zebesai goes down. But Nox and Extremer are dead. It's 4v3 here. Epsilon need to force the Zuber. There's a scout and soldier moving in. Rebelli is at 450 health. He is going to force it onto the pipe. Rebelli oh, is going for his call. Oh, it's the going to escape down. Wow, I thought Cadis was going to clean up right there, DJC. He just bombed in and got a sweet sticky that sort of knocked Royce away from everyone else, but it sort of helped them out in the end. And right now, Cadis is trying to push ahead here. They know that Crits is still a factor. Royce sitting on 70% right now. Bite Cadis with takes down Extremer, but he's on 61 health, and there's a scout rushing him right now. Cadis goes down, Walters gets taken down by the Heavy. Rebellion, huge position here, but right now, Epsilon do have that Crits Creek coming up soon. And in fact, TCM are so far extended right now, this Crits Creek can do huge damage. Crits has popped on Nox! Soldier down! 
Hilga Hawks is down. Combo is running away. Oh, right. oh, 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 oh my god, the Korean rocket sneaks through the open doorway. There's just a soldier alive. It's absolutely on very low health. Epsilon rushing through. Epsilon onto the point. Cadus is up. Will he even get out of time? No, he will not. First round to Epsilon off of the most narrow of advantages, the 0.1 milliseconds that a shutter door was open to let a crit rocket sneak through. Wow. That was quite interesting there to see how effective Rebelli was being as heavy, really denying those Epsilon scouts. Uh, and that is quite powerful. Is, is this a pause right now, DDC? Uh, no idea here. Admirable. Actually, it is indeed a pause. It wasn't on any player cam. But we will see a second mid rollout come here. And Epsilon are going huge right now. I mean, Extreme is having a great game. He did well with the Kritzkrieg. He's doing a ton of damage. He's still kind of losing the 1v1 engagements with Cadus, but Extreme has been very crucial to Epsilon's success. I know Stefan and Walters are always going to have more points, probably more frags, but Extreme is very, very important to the success of Epsilon. And uh, it's good to see that he's playing lag free tonight, and he's back on the form we've come to expect from him in the past. Yeah, and uh, Rebelli sort of was good at the point where uh, Epsilon were attacking them. But as soon as TCM tried to move forward with that heavy, he just got focused down instantly. And I think that is sort of the the way it plays out. You can't lead with the heavy. It's sort of like Highlander. We saw that last night, DDC. If anyone tuned in for that amazing game that was Israel versus Austria, the heavy needs to play a sort of a more of a backseat role. He can't really lead the charge, but we're going to another middle here. The pause has unpaused. And I see Kiedis coming in on that left side, DJC. Yeah, he's on the lower health pack right now. He's there quickly. Well before Extreme, but Extreme is going up top here. Both scouts for Epsilon up top as well. Gear comes out upper. There's a lot of passivity coming out from TCM here. They're not taking any aggression. They're scared of that upper it's, play it's from Epsilon. Crits, here comes Epsilon, the first jump. Uh-oh, Walters and Zebes side down. If this is crit screen, it could be huge. Extreme is just sitting in there. They have the crit. Crit is popped right now. Extreme takes down Rebelli with the first sticky. Trying to get this soldier. Soldier jumping Roy's. He's on the health back. He's sitting on so many crit rollers, though. Crit bottle coming out from Extremer, can't take him down. Bite is on 60 health though, doesn't have Uber quite yet. Extremer could clutch this even and force the Uber. Oh! He hit him with that sticky, but Bite surfed away through the crates on 30 health right now. Nice surf there from Bite. I thought that sticky was going to do way more damage. What I thought I the... saw the flash of a dropped Uber as Whoa, well. Whoa, the Bite gets the force, just comes straight around the corner. I don't know what Hemsey was thinking there, but he didn't hit those meat shots in time, and that is the Uber situation equalized right now. Spawns are going to be coming in for Epsilon momentarily. Walters will still be dead for another 7 seconds, but this means that uh, it's going to be equal in terms of Ubers. I hope Royce has finally switched back to that Medigun, and he is running that standard Uber right now. Oh my god, DDC. Walters going oh, huge. Man. Big apologies for my preemptive scream there, but I swear to god I saw the flashing, glowing signs of a dropped Uber. Uh, the uber advantages are equal right now. I do believe Royce is back to the medigun. And we do see that this is where the unpause came. Gear actually goes down to Zebeside, but Zebeside down as well. This is where we would usually see Zebeside on Sniper. But uh, he, he might just stick with Soldier. We've seen him the last time we casted Admiral was uh, TCM versus Punchline. And Zebeside did some pretty amazing things on Soldier pushing into last. We'll have to see what happens here. They're, they're, TCM right now just sitting, waiting for this pick from Zebeside. He's up on Sniper. It looks like he wants to go... He's going through the lower right now to get his buff. He'll try and peek on one of these doors here. They're earning him space on this far left side. Zebeside is peeking out. Can he even get a shot on the medic here? Royce is playing so far up. And there's good spam coming on his Zebeside. He's being shut down pretty well right now. Himsey goes down as well. Oh, oh body shot, body shot. On to Royce. Royce got a little bit out of position there. And there's a soldier on Cadis right now. The force will come on Cadis. Gear will go down. There's still a scout in. Gets headshot by Zebeside. Big plays from Zebeside. Two nice picks there. Scout runs directly on the point. Extremer with a nice defense so far. The back cap started. Perhaps a bit of a questionable play, but Knox and Extremer doing huge work on last. Oh, the two times cap comes. They got off of the point and just got focused down. You have to wonder that maybe, maybe, maybe if that scout were back on last, could have defended it just a little better since it was so close in the first place. Perhaps a bit of a poor back cap there. DJ, see that body shot shouldn't even been in in the first place. The sniper was spotted for at least five seconds. That's got to be Gear's job. He's the Roman soldier. He's got to go and deny that. He's got to force them back. All he has to do is get a few rockets in, just nod, don't nudge that scope even slightly. I can't believe Zebo was allowed to come in there. I'm so frustrated, DJC. But it is going to be one to one, and that is exactly what I see. Zebo's quick death on middle. Himsey down as well. Epsilon have full control of middle right now. 
Rebelli goes down as well. A coordinated jumping from the soldiers here. TCM trying to back out of that corner. Bite is on a half health with Cadis alive. Here comes Extremer! Extremer into the yard on the bike! It's taken down by Cadis, but Bite's on 30 health! There's a soldier pushing through, but Nox doesn't really know where Bite is. In fact, Bite went through Z to get in. There's a, both soldiers in yard for Epsilon. Sticky's going up on the door. Cadis trying to deny them as best he can. He's alone right now with the Uber. Gonna make a multi here. The pop does come from both teams. Soldier is staying out. That would be Zebicide deep in the corner for TCM here. But this is going to go very badly for TCM right now as there's a soldier up top. I believe it's Gear in behind on the health pack. In the upper and Epsilon are holding this door very well. Gear could make a huge play right now. I'm trying to get eyes on him. He's holding in the stairwell very passively, just distracting the TCM are trying to make a coordinated play on him. They do take him down with the combination of Zebesai and Rebelli, but it gives plenty of time for Extremer to get there in the yard, help put up a defense bite. Actually down to 76 health there, took some spam. Tons of people in closet right now for Epsilon taking the same spam, but they're forced to back TCM out. TCM is so low, Rebelli down Roy's on 50 health, Zebesai tried to make the huge play, almost worked. With two down right now, Epsilon could find this opportunity to push. Cadis is sticking off closet, he expects the push to come from there. That's the stickies as Walters is in behind, gets good damage on. But I fear that's just a wasted death there for Walters. Epsilon looking not to push here. They want to milk some time off of this clock right now. There's about 20 minutes left in the map. Himsey down, that actually could be the key to push right now. They've been trading picks back and forth for a while, but right now they're going to have a slight advantage off of Walters' respawn timing. Yeah, it's sort of weird on this point because they haven't actually capped yeah, they don't have those forward spawns, so the spawn advantage is actually in TCM's favor because it's so close. The Ubers come in from top though. Epsilon getting the force off. Both medics have traded Ubers and there's a soldier battle going up top. It is... Oh, Nox against Hawks. Bite down, Hawks bite comes down. Out. The streamer kills Bite with some errant stickies as he's walking out of the fight here. And that will swing what will work out to be about a 35-40% Uber advantage for Epsilon here. They are down Stefan and Nox, but Stefan has just gotten his spawn and Zebus is getting denied entry on the right of middle here. And TCM really can't get aggressive here. They would love to take Roy's down before he gets this Uber, but they're all backed up in the yard. They're forced back to their two, in fact, as their heals are really bad and Bite is not there with them yet. Epsilon now deciding to move in. Extreme is going to probe this very tentatively, but he gets taken out by that sticky trap above the new door by Cadis. And that will delay his entry into this fight by about 20 seconds as it left a spawn and get there. That could earn TCM enough time to get their Uber up. They're at 40% right now. Himsey goes down on the flank to Walters, and Epsilon might use that to push. Without their demo, they know they have an advantage here. The advantage is ticking slowly, slowly away right now. It's only at about 35%. They start the cap. Uber has popped on both scouts. The double scout pushed to the last fight. He's taking a ton of damage. Oh, oh, oh. By Walters and Stefan. Hawks, in fact, jumps away. Zebesai tries to go aggressive on a Royce here. Royce is on half health. The cap has not been earned. There's a soldier in demo behind everyone now. Both scouts coming back to point. Cadis getting good spam out. He's on about 130. He drops down. Hawks goes down. Cadis down as well. That could have been a very, very bad mistake there from TCM. As Epsilon are now given free entryway into last. There's just a scout up trying to defend against Gear. He's juking and weaving, but Gear's shotgun is too strong. Oh my god, admirable. Sick scout uber right there. If you're in Div 6, you know, maybe not the best idea, but whenever you got Walters and Stefan there, oh my god! Bite got absolutely shredded there, mate! Two scatter guns, and then he cleaned up all those sort of aggressive players trying to pick off Royce. That was just beautiful right there from Epsilon. I think TCM probably could have played a little more aggressive in the period leading up to that, because the Ubers were down for both teams. Nobody had that Uber charge. They might have got the force off early, but... They tried to play it safe and they actually got punished. Didn't expect that. Sky Open were back in another middle here. TCM going up top. Everybody's up top for TCM trying to take advantage of this crate. Play Stefan goes down. Extreme out onto Zebo though. That is the bomb denied. And now it's Nox onto Cadis here. This is uh, some very vertical battles going on right now. Bite goes down to the Gear. Huge bomb from Gear. He gets taken down in return. But this will give a huge Uber advantage to Epsilon. It's Cadis and Hawks right now. Can Extreme stay alive? He's getting juggled around by the soldier. Extremer goes down, but Royce gets the Uber saw kill, but he can't oh! pop the Uber in time, cannot switch over. Cadis takes him down. Big kill from Royce there, but yeah, weapon switch delay just a little bit too long. Cadis gonna try and solo cap this, but Epsilon do have both of their scout spawns early here. They might get there in time, Admirable. Yeah, that weapon switch maybe the only thing that makes the Uber saw slightly balanced. We need a pro mod uh, Team Forest too, like they have in Quake. With that instant weapon switch, then he would have saved himself. But right now, it's TCM cap on the point. Cadis has a few stickies. Strewn around, fairly mad cap, but that's not going to do anything. We're going to stabilize a little bit here, DDC. We're going to see a little bit of a stalemate, I would imagine. And everyone's getting upset at me and wanting me to take it a little more calm. Don't want to lose my voice, but to that, I say, damn you listeners. We're going to go huge right now. TCM trying to push in a uh, second right here. Epsilon holding very deep in ER. They have roids on the shutter door, 50% Uber. Ubers are even. TCM might want to probe in and take this a little bit early, though. 
And this is just too passive for me to really make that exciting, Admirable. I'm gonna give up on this idea, but Cadus does have a sticky trap. He's moving <laughs> in now. He was expecting someone to try and peek on that new door. Cadus is trying to get aggressive in a yard right now. TCM do want to push through. I think they want to take over the left yard here and try to move in through the garage since Epsilon are all clustered on the right. But Gear is hiding! Gear drops down right above Bike. It's huge damage on our Bike. goes down oh! upside down as well! Huge <laughs> hit by Gear! Oh, Greg was in shot! What an amazing play by Gear. <laughs> Nobody even noticed. Nobody ever checks that spot. It's such a weird spot on Granary hiding on that light above the passageway. Amazing, amazing play there. There's a scout 1v1 going on on middle here. I believe this is Himsey versus Stefan. Stefan and Himsey on low life. Himsey goes down as his support arrives. There are respawns coming for TCM. Bite is out in yard with Cadis. Cadis sticking up this shutter door. Yo, Wants to deny man, Epsilon man, their man. entryway. It's really like, uh, avoiding this entirely, they're moving through left yard here, admirable. It's a high pressure situation, you know, when you try and make that play to sort of push left, because you don't know where the stickies are, you don't know where the players are. And I can see how TCM uh, maybe missed that one, but uh, really Sometimes nice is up on right sniper. now. Wow, wow. Walters is behind right now, distracting, he's engaging a 1v1 up top, he's got health back control, both scouts there fighting Walters. Walters doing a ton of damage though and stays alive for so long. But with no scouts up, Epsilon are actually going to have to lose their uber advantage here. There's no possibility for them to push. Might not have been the smartest idea for them, but they're actually going to bait TCM's aggression out here. This might have been the play all along. We saw this last map. Zebesai's out. Epsilon are going to earn a free frag here. Zebesai trying to force Roy's, but Roy's on 90 health hasn't popped yet. Nox goes down in the process, though. Might not have been the best idea to drop their pocket soldier. But Himsey will go down as well. They're now two down for TCM. And TCM do have their Uber up. They're getting aggressive onto Extremer in this yard here. Extremer goes down. There's a scout in yard with Roy's. They have to back up. Bite pops the Uber. I'm not entirely sure why. As everyone is full Royce is totally trapped here. Roy's is screwed, man. He's going for the Roy's backup is trapped, right now. But Roy's is amazing. And I wouldn't be surprised if he pulled this back up off. He's actually going for the flank right now. Huge plays coming in from Roy's. He's sneaking up on Bite. The crossbow duel. And the soldier's going to get involved. Not going to let him fight it out like men. Oh, Hawks, you fun wow, wow. ruiner. If he, if he is in the middle of 43 health. Oh, he's not gonna go take it, go down. There's nobody around to kill it. No honor there from that TCM soldier. He should have let those medics duke it out. Uh, possibly Roy should have just K'd out earlier and uh, suicided it for the good of his team. Stickies are spotted here on the ramp room as TCM pushed through that left side again where they last failed, but uh, this time no gear waiting for them. Zebo picks up Wallers. There's and a right sniper now, TCM got to Stefan on sniper. Stefan is in the respawn right now. He's on the bite. He misses the shot though. You only get one shot. Do not miss your chance to blow to quote Eminem. <laughs> Did not happen here. I'm just going to reference that every time there's a sniper who misses a shot. TCM do have the 50% advantage here. They're going to push off of this. They're taking their time though. Clearing the stickies. Making sure bite does not go down here. The Uber is popped on a scout, but there's just one scout in right now. They don't have the other one with him. He's in late to the fight, and they wasted so much. The Uber just getting there. They're not going to do a whole lot with this. Nox will die, but it's not that big of a pick right now. And in fact, Gear is rotating back to last. The scout might go down. Himsey with the huge aggression. A soldier bomb! Air shot! <laughs> I'm not sure who hit it, but it was a huge one, and Zebesite went down Zebra. there. Cadis with a huge bomb, Cadis on the medic, the Uber is forced, but Cadis takes an air pipe as well, Extremer going huge right now, walking into the point, throwing stickies out, denying them the entryway on the left, this should be a recap for Epsilon, TCM trying to contest this through Z, it looks like they're in the closet, there's a soldier there's getting jungle, Scout comes in from the other side, they're focusing down different targets, though Rebellion will go down, Hawks down as well, bites alone, bites alone, bites alone, and Riyadh, he's running with the crossbow! There's a soldier in garage right now, spotted by the soldier and scout. Zebesai goes down, he trades with gear, but that's not a priority pick. Bite is at 80% Uber on middle, 50% for Epsilon. It's Cadis and Bite alive, and how many times today have we seen this admirable? It's just Cadis and Bite running away from a fight. Yeah, I'm surprised Bite actually managed to survive that one. But his players just behind, did buy enough time. He does have that Uber charge, and it is an Uber advantage. TCM need to push immediately. The clock is running down ever so slowly. We're on 12 minutes remaining here. He's going to lead with the scouts. He's trying to give Epsilon a taste of their own medicine, but they are well positioned to get out of there. Even Extremer is going to survive this time. Perhaps, guy is thinking of challenging the run, but he doesn't go for it. Royce has got that Uber now. He's going to lead to block. Uber's He's in with cover from TCM here. There's a soldier sneak up on the right. Gear is in the gap right now, unseen. He's jumping in late to the fight, but he finally gets spotted by Zebesai. Zebesai goes down. Himsey as well. Walter's on the side. Hawks and Rebelli as well. Epsilon taking full control of this fight. It's just Cadis and Bite yet again. Cadis is even trapped in. He's trying to bomb under Royce and make another vehicle play happen. But he cannot. Bite is trying to dodge his best in yard against Walters, but the pistol will take him down. Walters much too strong for Bite's dodging at this particular moment. And Epsilon are on 50%. They're going to try and move into last. The spawns for TCM are coming, but they're so late. I don't think they're going to get there. They're denying the left doorway. And that is a cap to Epsilon Stefan.
And Epsilon go up 3-1 to one in this match, admirable. Yeah, the ferocity of that wipe there, just proven by the fact they can get both points for free. Not even any contention right there from TCM. And we're going to go to another middle here, both medics... No, wait! No, nope. both medics running that normal liver charge. I thought it was crits for a second there, DGC. Almost shit my pants. But we're going in here right now. The scouts are going up top for TCM. Gonna try and do some pistol damage maybe. On to... Oh, he's he's down down to Stefan with the plus forward. Extremer and Stefan go down in retaliation though. And right now it is anybody's game. Actually, Epsilon lose two players in quick succession. Bite goes down, the Royce is down. Nox last man alive. Can't do anything to stem that red wave TCM. Gonna flow forward here, already sending players ahead to CP2. It's both soldiers, this is gonna be pretty tricky if one of them caps and one of them goes up top. This could be dangerous for Extremer, he has just spawned, he's sure to go top and they're reading this. Little mind game's going on here. There's, oh, the dogs are super low, this is Stefan coming in, spots that soldier up top. And right now, this could spell disaster, TCM might get turned over right now if they lose both soldiers. Extremer sure gets to pick up the hawks. Gears getting uh, aggressive on the point as well. He's denied the scout and demo from capping scout and soldier. Excuse me, he's upside on 11 health. Getting chased down by a scout, but he's safe. He's with his medic now in yard. They are grouped up. The Ubers are even once again. Epsilon do have the number advantage, but I don't think they're going to try and push this extreme. He's just trying to shut them out. They're actually trapped out right now. They're going to have to back out left if they back out at all. But Epsilon not taking advantage. In fact, TCM doing the wraparound. They're pushing into point. Going to try and back cap this with Epsilon all stuck in yard. Epsilon are in fact all pinched into the garage right now. Zebesai's trying to go for last. He's on low health though. Scout is intercepting him. Air shot by Zebesai and he's going to get on to last. <laughs> but oh, such low health. health. Crits comes it's in. Crits comes out for bite. Oh, Cadis takes down Royce and Extremer. But Nox is alive. Can Nox clutch this? He's getting huge damage but he gets knocked off the point. Rounds to TCM right there, and it's now three to two, and TCM now have the chance to tie this up with nine and a half minutes to go. Admirable. DGC, I didn't even see that crits until the last minute. I think Roy's actually ended up dropping over there. Might need confirmation on that one, but Bike is going to run the standard medigun to middle, and I believe Roy's is going to do the same. Nobody is that crazy right now, and wow, this is really turning into quite a game. TCM. Eagle in their round score from the last game, and there is still 10 minutes left as we go into another middle. The combo Cadis from the Epsilon. first pick, though. Stefan took down Cadis. He trades, but that's a huge pick. No damage from the demo that's made for DCM. And Gear takes down Hawks. Extremers down as well. We're building with a nice play onto him, but right now their Epsilon players are swarming onto their medic. They want to cluster up and fight this here. They do lose Gear, though. It's just Nox versus the scouts of TCM. TCM trying to cap this. The Ubers will be even. Epsilon should be able to put up a stalwart defense on CP2 here, Admirable. Yeah, Ubercharge coming in right now for both teams and it is a little bit of a standoff. I'd like to see Epsilon lead with a push here. They are going to go and try and force that multi Uber. Look at this, Bite is in a dangerous position right now. If that soldier wants to bomb, Nox chooses not to. He's going to stay with his he's man. He's on wants 60 to... health. He's so tenuous right now. If any spam goes on to Bite, he's got to pop. He in fact does, but the Uber comes out from Epsilon to force Bite. A little bit of multi in going on here from TCM as Himsy goes down. Epsilon have the far better of this as they annihilate the flank. And in fact, Bite is caught out right now. If anyone for Epsilon could get forward, Bite would have gone down. There's a demo man way high in the sky right now. Cadis goes down to the shotgun from gear on landing. Oh, the flank is on those demo the big flank, Stefan goes huge. <laughs> he takes out Bite and Hawks on middle. Yet another combo kill for Stefan. And Sebasai will go down as well, trying to sit on that health pack and get onto Roy's there. Roy's at 50% Uber. Rebelli is up as Sniper, though. He's going to sit in this respawn. He's going to wait. Bide his time. Cadis and Bite and Hawks do get the spawn, but they're going to sit Rebelli on the Sniper pick. As well, man. Yeah, they need this Sniper pick. They need Roy's down here if they have any chance of pushing back out of this round as the Uber advantage is now 70%. I'm just sitting on Rebelli, so that means I get to stare at a shutter door for the next 15 seconds. Ads. Yeah, Epsilon are already working through that garage side, man. They have totally sidestepped this Sniper, and Rebelli needs to change class. He's still standing there doing nothing. You can see it, DDC, but Epsilon are working their way through that lower garage. There is some TCM players above them. Zebesai may get the force off here, but he gets denied by Walters. Actually, self damage. Extreme oh, pushing it away. Oh, 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 big God. drop there, but Cadis is such low health. Epsilon could still win this. There is a heavy alive, so that swings it in favor of TCM. And Epsilon can't even get aggression here, but the Uber advantage is 100% for TCM. And this is the opening they need. This is where they will push here, but you know what I'm watching for, Admirable. Look at the hiding spot of Walters right now, sitting on that little metal rim around the pillars inside too. He's going to try for the back cap here. Do you think Rebelli is going to be sitting on last, or do you think he's going to push with this Uber? I reckon they might use the heavy to push on top, but I'm not sure. They do have two soldiers though, so it's going to be hard to Uber all those players. That heavy is a heel hog, so 
Maybe he will stay last. Oh, he's doing big damage on the gear. He's totally overcommitted, and that pick is going to be the catalyst Waters is for this pushing up top right now. Walters on a heavy. He gets insta-destroyed, insta-gibbed there, I should say. Walters wanted to go for that back cap, but there was Soldier and Heavy pushing up top, so he gets denied instantly. Epsilon at 50%. TCM have not had to pop their Uber yet. They're going to want to move quickly with this because they know how close Epsilon are. And if they take yep. their time any longer, and Roy's going to get his Uber. going to be uh, an effective strategy here because of that Heavy. You just can't jump into bite when he's got that Heavy cover. And the Soldier bombing ahead here is Zebesai getting into middle already, taking that high ground, but there are no Epsilon players there. Royce has almost got that over DGC, but he is not being forced, and it's going to be a little stalemate here. It's going to be interesting to see how this heavy plays out. Yeah, he's all the way back at his own two right now. He was sitting watching for the back cap in case it came, so he's really, really slow into this fight. That could play a bit of a role here as Rebelli is not quite there yet. Kate is trying to get good spam onto Royce right now to make him pop, but he's uh, well protected is Royce right now. The flank for Epsilon trying to do something here. Walters is in aggressive on the scout, but he gets two shot by Himsy. Big plays from the Finn right there. The gambler, as many have come to know him, at his TCM's window, but there are stickies up on this garage. Soldier and demo coordinated bomb here under Royce will force the Uber. Extremer gets dropped. Roy's not in range to heal him up. The Uber comes in for TCM, and Epsilon need to get out right now with this. There's no chance they can win this fight. It's 3v6, and there's a heavy alive. Nox tries to go for the play on bite at the end of it, but can't finish him off. Oh, that was an amazing play from Hawks right there. He noticed that there was two players that were separated in the corner away from Royce. He wasn't able to flash them, and he dropped them instantly. Great uh, instincts from the bin, and TCM storming ahead onto last bit. That heavy, this is going to be nigh but impossible for Epsilon to block. Big damage coming in from all sides. Can't even get out of the door, and that's going to be 3-3. Three to three. We have a game in our hands, We have DJ five Z. minutes left, Admiral, and I'm going to announce our next CSGO giveaway. You have five minutes to message me on IRC with the person you think is going to get the last frag of this game before the final cap is done. So message me right that right, right now with that. Excuse me, you have five minutes, so go, fellas. We're going to take over this middle right here. We Let's have see a, a demo man coming TCM on lower. Comms, DGC, a middle. No, we don't have the comms this map, Admirable. It's Arcs and Betas. Don't do it. Don't do it, man. Walters goes down to Rebelli here. Uh, combined with Cadus on that kill, knocks down quickly as well. Extremer gets the kill on Rebelli, but Epsilon are already backed out, I do believe. Cadus, in fact, flanking the medic right now, gets two stickies on Royce and takes him down. It's just a fawn and Epsilon, uh, Extremer alive, and they are cleaned up very easily by Himsey here. I can't believe we've lost the comms, DJC. This is an outrage. They don't know who we are. We traded them over, man. It was part of the agreement. I messaged you on Steam like five <laughs> times, and you just didn't listen, Admiral, but you got so much into the game, you didn't even notice. Oh, we've got a pile here and a sniper. It could be just for the forward spawn, though. Don't get too excited, DJC. It is going to be cookie cutter here for TCM. And uh, Uber advantage for neither team. Maybe a very slight one for Bite, but wow, this is Europe. We don't push off Uber advantage. We're going to see a steal, mate, for sure. Kate is sitting in the closet right there with a weird sticky trap up. Gets taken down by Walters. So despite the fact that TCM now have a slight advantage, and they're actually running crit screen here, they're at 60% right now. Uh, they're going to have to wait for Cadis to spawn before they do anything with it. We've got some stats here from Play. He says the odds are 1-6 to six that Epsilon loses in the last 15 minutes. So, uh... That's not too strong at all. Like, I am a gambling man and I would not bag that. Oh, but we do see the crits come out here. It takes on both scouts for Epsilon and Nox as well. But Cadis is taken down. The crits is now on Zebesai. He has nothing really to shoot at. It switches over to Hawks. Gear goes down. Extremer's alive at 50 health. It's taken out, but Roy's does have 70% right now on his CP2. But there are no spawns for Epsilon. There's six seconds out. This is looking dangerous. We've got three minutes left. Only Roy's alive. Crits in play for TCM's bite. That does give them an opportunity to defend here because uh, really the way you want to approach dealing with that crates is just to sort of bomb in and go for bite. And that, Huge uh, jump by Zebesai but he just shot out of the air by Stefan and Walters. The crits is now about to be up for TCM but they've actually lost their advantage here and Epsilon confident knowing they have Uber versus Kritzkrieg. But the Kritzkrieg is actually popped here from bite but I have no idea where it's coming in from the garage right now. Cadis gets a few stickies, but didn't get anything with his chance there. Epsilon now pushing out on the right yard. Cadis has some crit stickies laying around. But Epsilon now actually behind, but they take down Himsey. That's their pick. They can push off of that knowing that TCM are nowhere near crits and that TCM aren't going to have invulnerability in about 20 Zebosai seconds. on the spy. The spy in this situation is so weird, but I think he is going to have to start this back cap. He's committed to it now. He's taking damage on two, though. Extremist surely heard some sort of hit beep there. But he's not even reacting to it. Zebesai is actually in a really good position to go for the medic right now. Crouching behind this wall in TP2. Royce is actually in the perfect position for Zebesai to stab him. Zebesai, you need to go! He gets a stab and it doesn't register on the back! Oh my god, TF2's netcode! Jew reg right there. Israel coming out strong. Can't kill Royce. 
That is heartbreaking, but right now it is so close still, 3-3, three, three, and the clock is ticking down. Slowly but surely, Chris comes in, Uber to the Uber is coming, Mike goes down instantly, and there's a soldier trapped in here. I believe that is Hawks right now on two health. That's a red health scenario for Hawks, and he gets taken down. Stefan is even aggressive in middle on to Cadis, takes him down as well, and Hemsy goes down trying to rush the combo. Four down, five down, make it. Zebesai is the only one alive. He got that forward spawn. He's on to Bite and Hawks. Will both get the forward here, so they'll be able to start building their Uber as soon as possible, but they're so far behind right now, a good 40%. I'd like to see uh, Epsilon just bully this one, go straight in before Cadis even arrives. Yes, they're getting that cap time on, it's just one scout though. Is Epsilon pushing from that garage side and trying to find the combo? Yes, they're coming in on Z right now. Cadis can't even get stickies on there and they get that one for free. They have Zebesai goes down up top to gear, that's a pick as well. There is a heavy up for TCM, Rebellion is going to sit on last, but we have 45 seconds left. Admirable, this is where we have to go huge. This is where my dying voice must make its last stand. We see Epsilon pushing out the right door here. They have a soldier demo and Scout knocks with the initial jump. Gets onto that soldier peak and takes him out of the fight. They're flashing a lot though. Our Epsilon the Heavy is not taking a ton of damage either. He's now on 100. Bite at 80%. Bite has 8 seconds left to get his Uber. There's only 3 alive for TCM though. He's on 75 health. Oh, he's so weak. He's on 20. He gets taken out. It's just Cadis and Zebesai versus Extremer right now. Can they finish him off? He's taking a ton of damage, but oh, the crossbow misses from Roy. Roy's gonna try and clutch this. They're so low. He could win this 1v2 by himself and go down as the greatest medic in European history. He's on a Cadis right now, but he cannot finish him off. The shotgun finishes him off. Roy's down. What an insane closer we have there. Admirable. Gear okay, gonna jump in, but it's all too late. We are going to a golden cap here. I know you don't have that in North America, but after a draw in 30 minutes, it means we're going to a 10 minute golden cap. The first team to cap will win and after that 10 minutes it's the team that holds medal that's going to win. And this is effectively the penalty shootout of TF2 in Europe. And you don't even know what a penalty shootout is, DJC, you damn American. I watch football. <laughs> don't act like I'm an uncultured American who doesn't watch his footy every Saturday morning when Fox Sports World decides to air some awful English Premiership League match. Women's football and trans world sports, yeah, something like that. And, uh, <laughs> wow. I, I, I feel like TCM are gathering uh, a bit of momentum here. Obviously, they were up against it in that uh, very dying phases of the 30 minutes, but they've sort of come back into it here. We gotta, and... we gotta do this real quick though, Admirable, I did say before the game ended, but I will count it as Zebesai getting the last frag here because the Golden Cap is an entirely different entity. So Zebesai got the first frag and the last frag here, so we'll have two CSGO keys to give out after the best of three ends. As soon as that ends, we'll get that squared away and figure out who are the winners of our Counter-Strike Global Offensive keys. Oh, DJC, you know there's gonna be some nerds in the forum arguing that he didn't say that the Golden Cap was a separate entity. <laughs> But we're I know there's going to be some GGC. nerds, but I don't even care. We're live, Admirable. And we are ready for this Golden Cap. Ten minutes. The first one to win a round wins the game. So we'll see what I'm, happens here. I'm Admirable. checking for crits. I'm checking for crits, but it's no crits. Uber for both medics. Neither medic has run crits to middle, I think. I could be wrong. Actually, I tell a lie. Because Epsilon definitely did it at least once. But Demo Man coming in low. Kadis is Kadis super low. Right. Yeah, Kadis up 50 health here. He's going to have to back out through the garage. Here comes the quick bomb from Zebesai though. He's going straight into the garage. He's basically giving Epsilon a free pick. But he's distracting so well. And in fact, I don't even see TCM having any point presence right now. They finally move in on the right side here. Himsy down. But Epsilon have lost three. Oh, TCM buddy. with a huge advantage. And pipe from Kadis. Air shot two. As a Japanese <laughs> caster may say watching StarCraft. TCM have middle, they're moving through yard right now, they're gonna take two, they have the full uber advantage. It's gonna take a miracle for TCM to lose this admirable. Well, I thought Bite was gonna go down for sure, they're not, I think it was Gear Nox on him. But he managed to survive and now he is looking pretty as they move into last here. Nox on heavy, this is uh, a heal Miri here, he hopes he can do enough with this 450 HP. But Emoth Uber comes in, this might work out for everyone here. They're all getting back in the up corner, the ripped out, he's it's four for TCM, three for Epsilon, it's just Gear and Walters versus the four players. The health is so bad for TCM though. Oh, the soldier comes on to point, but he gets taken down by the just gentle uber saw swipe of TCM bite. And that will make this golden cap go four to three in favor of TCM as they win the second map of this best of three in the Egypt Oil Grand Finals. Wow, I'm going to just jump the gun here and say that my man of the map had to be Walters. He was based in, he was just, uh, Leading the charge for Epsilon right there. I know they lost it in the end, but I think he put in a fairly domineering performance. DJC, I'm sure you've got something different to say. 
Honestly, man, Rebelli did so much in that game when he was on heavy, and he did so much in the Golden Cap, especially. I think he got like three kills and one streak there. Uh, so based off of my very recent working memory, I don't really remember a lot of the intense 3-3 we had in the regulation, but off of the Golden Cap alone, I'm going to say Rebelli. I'm getting a message here from Retchock as well. He's calling out Kira saying he is such a fucking beast. That's just me quoting, man. I wouldn't ever swear on stream. But anyway, let's uh, wrap this one up for the VODs. I will say thank you for tuning into Vanilla TV. This has been Admirable DJC and Boomy on the stream. This has been ETFTL Season 12, part by TT Esports. Map 2 of the grand final of the Premiership Division between Infused and TCM Gaming. TCM Gaming taking it on a golden cap, we're going to go to a third map. It's going to be Badlands. Stay tuned. <laughs>